Hi art friends, we are continuing the month of February learning Black History Month, more about African American special inventors and scientists and artists, people that we are going to celebrate and learn more about. And this week's art lesson is inspired by a scientist, an inventor, an agricultural chemist, George Washington Carver. So what I was so excited learning about was that George Washington Carver was very, very, very interested in learning more about plants and how to improve soil. And he taught farmers how to rotate crops and plant new plants at different seasons to help bring nutrients back into the soil. And so he is also known as the peanut man because of his inventions and creations that he tried to come up with using peanut products and making products out of peanuts and um, sweet potatoes and soybeans. And he was also inducted into the National Invention Hall of Fame because he's an inventor. So with our art project this week, you can choose to either create your own invention, something that you can make an invention of that's going to help the world, something that's gonna help people. What problem can you solve? And so you can just design your own invention and draw a picture of it, or you can follow along with this video and try to do a science experiment. Since George Washington Carver was a scientist, I'm sure he used a lot of the same chemical tools that our scientists use today, including the beakers and different kind of chemical reactions that he wants to see what's gonna happen and how he can help create awesome inventions that's gonna help people. And so we're gonna follow along doing this I have paint. If you don't have paint, you can use whatever coloring materials you have at home. You can use colored pencils and crayons and markers. If you have paint, you can follow along with the way I do it. And your um, beakers and uh, the way that you draw these cylinder shapes does not have to look exactly like the way I do it. Scientists have lots of different types of glass materials that they're filling in with different containers to find out what substances create a reaction and so whatever the way you draw it is going to be awesome and I drew some peanuts in the picture because George Washington Carver was known as the peanut man although he did not invent peanut butter so let's get started I'm gonna start my beaker by drawing the opening at the top which is going to be an oval and from the edges of the oval I'm drawing two straight lines going down and at the bottom, if we look at a cylinder, it's not straight and flat, it's curved. So I'm gonna draw a big smile line at the bottom of the paper to connect the beaker line to. And you can draw those lines and connect it on the left and then connect the line on the right. And then you get to decide how much liquid is inside of your beaker. And you draw another big smile line inside and we're gonna draw the other side of it too, since the glass is see-through, we can see through the other side. Focusing on art element form, we are trying to make these 2D shapes look 3D, and I'm adding some bubbles. You can add as many bubbles as you want, some big, some small, and they can be coming out of the bottle. And now I'm gonna add another shape. This is gonna be just a tube. And I'm adding an oval at the top, that's the opening, and this one is just going to be parallel, so I'm going to draw a smile line at the bottom and two straight lines connecting down to that smile line. And again, you decide how much liquid you want inside of your tube. I'm going to draw an oval here in the middle, however much liquid there is, adding some bubbles again. Some bubbles can be coming out of the bottle. Ooh, I just remembered, usually these beakers have measurements on the sides so that the scientists know how much liquid has in the bottle. So we can add some little lines here on the edges that show how much liquid is inside each of the bottles. All right, last shape. I'm going to draw a big curve at the bottom of my page and have these have two straight sides coming up towards the top. But you can make your bottle look like anything you want.
All right, so since George Washington Carver was known as the peanut man, I'm gonna draw some peanut shapes in this bottle. So you can start by drawing two bumps and connect it. It's kind of like a number three or a backwards number three, but I'm leaving a little space in the middle. Peanut shapes grow very irregular. Some of them have three peanuts inside and some of them just have one. Peanuts also have texture, our element texture, and you could either draw some dots or some crisscrossing lines to create that texture on the peanuts. So right now these beakers are floating in space. We're gonna ground them by drawing a horizon line. This is gonna be the table that these beakers are sitting on. So behind the beakers, we're gonna draw a straight horizontal line all the way across our page. If you want to color the table, you can color the table or you can just add a shadow underneath the beakers, but I'm gonna use art element color here. If you only have markers, you can try blending some markers together to create secondary colors. So I would mix red and yellow together to create orange. And if you just dot it on there, you can see if that works or you can add a little water and see if that blends together and creates that orange color. If you have paint, you can use paint to do the same thing. So I'm gonna dot some red and this is gonna be an experiment. Let's see what happens when you mix red and blue. Red and blue and yellow are primary colors, but if you mix red, the primary colors together, you get secondary colors. So mixing red with blue should create purple. If you don't have paint, you can try to just color this yourself with crayons or markers or color pencils. And if you layer the colors, you can also get that same color effect. And my science experiment's kind of exploding a little bit, as you can see. So I'm drawing some of that chemical reaction coming out of the beaker. All right, another experiment. Let's create another secondary color by mixing yellow and blue together. What color do you think that's gonna make? I hope you start to see it. I see it. Looks like green to me. And again, if you wanna make this a chemical reaction coming out, feel free to make that paint look like it's exploding outside of the beaker. Now, if you wanna paint the table, you can paint the table, you can paint a shadow underneath your beakers. And that is it all we have for our science experiment today. I hope you had fun creating this chemical reaction and can't wait to see your artwork. Mm -hmm.